Marty Berkstead with ASCHE here with uh, Fulia Sudur uh, from UMass, who's uh, got a presentation on the stability of hydrogen peroxide in silica zero gels. Fulia, what's this all about? Okay, we are trying to stabilize hydrogen peroxide within silica zero gels because hydrogen peroxide is, is decomposes at room temperatures into water and oxygen. So we want to keep hydrogen peroxide concentration high for some specific applications like, um, for example, water treatment, liquid detergent, and uh, uh, teeth whitening, etc. So we are preparing salt from uh, sodium silicate and we are putting hydrogen peroxide in that salt. So hydrogen peroxide making hydrogen bond on silica surface so that when we further drying, we are obtaining silica zero gels which have loaded hydrogen peroxide. So the, these are our uh, experimental results from our lab. And when we look at the hydrogen peroxide concentration, we are detecting it by uh, titrating it potassium permanganate. And as you can see here, we, um, we have up to 68% of hydrogen peroxide in our silica zero gels, and we are maintaining that um, we are maintaining that concentration up to 40 days. And we also took the SCM pictures of our zero gels, and they have almost 20 nanometer of uh, size, which they are re really small. And we also do BET analysis on our zero gels, and they have surprisingly 800 meters per gram surface area, which, which is really good with respect to the normal zero gel application. And we have also, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Why doesn't the hydrogen peroxide react with the zero gel? Oh, it's, it's not reacting, it's an adsorption process. Okay. Yeah. And, and it's uh, because the zero gel is inert? It... Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And can you react, the, can you use the zero gel and the hydrogen peroxide then as a unit in a process? Or yeah, uh, this is actually uh, the first, you know, first step of our uh, application. We first want to stabilize hydrogen peroxide and the further application will be, we are going to coat our zero gels with silica spheres mm -hmm. so that, you know, we are, um, they are going to maintain its hydrogen peroxide more mm -hmm. and they will also be tough because zero gels are very soft and they are okay. not, you know, uh, can endure some mechanical deformation. But within those silica spheres, our zero gels will be protected and they will uh, continue, you know, their um, in, in normal applications. They will call, they will have hydrogen peroxide in them. Okay. What's the next step in the research you're doing? Yeah, the next step will be the encapsulation of zero gels mm -hmm. in silica spheres. We are going to coat them with okay. silica. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you.